It's a war zone out there. They're destroying the city. I'm trying to help here. Don't say another word. Come on. I told you what I saw. What is going on here? It's not that simple. I know exactly who you are. Great man, I'm good always see. good to see you, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's been good to just see you just keep rising. Oh, thank you, else. man. Thank you. I know we're in Detroit, the mm -hmm. home of Motown. Mm -hmm. But before we start this interview, I, I gotta see if you know this. Sweet Mama. See, this man is real Nigerian. Sweet man. Mama, yeah. So I gotta ask, man, you got Nigerian parents? <laughs> yes. How did they let you be an actor? It seems like they always pushing engineer this that. How was it growing up, and how did you like break out of the traditional? You know, well, things that parents think about you. The thing you don't realize about Nigerians is the same thing I realize of now being in D Detroit. Yeah. Um, is that, you know, they're speculations, but they're very, uh, very colorful people and complex yeah. people. And, and, and my mom and dad don't have a problem with it. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite, my dad's favorite actor is Bruce Willis because um, they lost their hair around the same time. <laughs> so, so my dad didn't mind me being in a, a few films. <laughs> so, but you do the whole thing jollof rice, pepper soup, all that. A whole shebang. <laughs> plantain, you forgot about the plantain. I need my jollof rice for plantain. Yes, for sure. <laughs> this movie, man, uh, I think it, I, I hear when reading these articles that mm. you, you spoke on it, it meant a lot to you to, mm. to kind of like get into this character and kind of delve into this uh, genre of uh, topics. You yeah. Know, can you t talk a little about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I just, um, I've, I've always liked projects with uh, a, a moral, uh, story. I've always liked uh, movies that give us information and perspective, and I just think that this was a great opportunity to be a part of of that kind of uh, genre with uh, with a phenomenal filmmaker, and and a story that not only kind of you know is relevant till today, but it's something that is a a consistent conversation. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, just be a part of uh, of of the movement. And and I think there are loads of movies that are socially conscious, and I just I just think that this was you know the best option for me. Alice, uh -huh. you know, sometimes when a black guy is put in a position of authority, other black guys, they like to single you out, okay, because I'm not supposed to tell them what to do. When we have these conversations, we do them in stages, okay? Stage one, witnesses. Stage two, suspects. What stage are we in? You don't know what stage we're in? No, could you specify for me? Yeah, we're in stage two. You're a suspect. There's all of these things that happen in America with, because I know this, this is back in the day, but it points to a lot of uh, the angst that the black community has with police here. Mm. Is all of these things become like of interest in London to, to black Brits and just Brits mm -hmm. there? Do, I mean, do you think that they pay attention to all these things that's going on here. Well, is uh, what's what's phenomenal about this? This is not only a you know this sparks a conversation. What's happening globally? Mm -hmm. I think um, it, it's it, the, the fact that the poster says it's time we knew. It's time we knew about what happens with race relations in Detroit. But it's also time we knew about what happens with race relations in London, in India, in Brazil, with blacks all over the world. It's a it's a it's a global topic. And it, it, it doesn't take much for, for blacks from everywhere to, to relate instantly to this yeah. kind of story and to have something to say. So it's not, it's not far-fetched, America. Like, it's not far-fetched. But unfortunately, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very loud right now in the United States. And it's, um, it's not the best situation. All right, last thing. We in Detroit. You got to give me your favorite Motown group of all time. Oh, my favorite Mo Motown group. Or artists. Or artists. Uh, Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye? Yeah. Hey, you can't Marvin lose Gaye. with that, man. Yeah, I can't lose with that. <laughs> Thank you, right, man. Man.